What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day and in today's video we are most definitely going to be taking a look at some cool stuff. Because in today's video I am going to be running you guys through the long list of gifts that I was given during the open house slash meet and greet event and boy oh boy are there some good ones in here. So without talking too much about the event, it has been an absolute whirlwind the last couple of days, the days leading up to it, the event itself, and coming down off of the high that we all got from that very, very special night, and I'm just now able to get around to doing stuff like this. So, as I mentioned, we are going to be taking a look at the stuff that I was given during the event because a lot of people brought me gifts, which is amazing, and some of these gifts are incredible. Now, before we dive on into this, I did just want to let you guys know that I won't be giving a name for every person that gave me a gift because I didn't catch some of your names, and I do apologize about that, but just know that I really, really do appreciate it. And if you drop your name down below in the comments and say, hey, that was me that brought you that piece, I will absolutely love to thank you there as well, even though I most definitely thanked you up at the table when you handed me the present. Just don't want you guys to think I'm rude. I promise that's not the case, but like I said, it was a whirlwind, and the people that were at the event can absolutely attest to that. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump on into it in no particular order from favorite to least favorite, most expensive to free doesn't really matter. We're just kind of going as the stack comes. So the first thing that I want to talk about is this very special piece that was given to me by my friend, Mr. Mike Covert. This is the blue banana thumb. What in the fuck? Okay, so there is a little story that comes along with this thing. And basically, on the night that Paleface and Co. got down here, they ended up going to a couple shopping centers to get some last minute things. Walmart, Party City, and they happen to go to this place right next to Party City called Ollie's. Ollie's is a discount store, pretty much like a pallet store. They take things that other stores can't quite sell, and they resell them a lot cheaper at their store. Well, apparently, over in the furniture section, Covert found this weird blue banana thumb sticking out from underneath a pillow. And I mean, and naturally, he wanted to buy it. So, he took it up to the cash register, and they actually rang him out for this thing. I don't understand it either, but he showed up at the House of Masks with this blue banana thumb, and it just became the meme of the weekend. And I was fortunate enough to have Covert leave this here. As they were packing up their booth, he said, do you want me to leave this here? And I said, absolutely. fucking -lutely. Why would I not want this thing? No idea what it is, but I can tell you this is one of my favorite things from the weekend, and I think that everybody else that was here can agree with me on that one. So, blue banana thumb. Thank you, Covert. Next up, right here on top, we've got a very, very special piece. This is one of the fellas whose names I did not get. However, we have connected on social media, so I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna get to know this guy pretty well. And what we have here is an all-access Scar the Martyr Pass. Now, basically, this came from one of Joey's friends, and you could tell as he was handing me this item and as we were speaking that it was a very, very sentimental, special handoff. And it was a very heavy moment, probably like the saddest, rawest moment of the night. How much we missed him. I showed him the little tribute to Joey on the side of my suit and let him know that that entire get up was kind of inspired by Joey and his passing and just something to honor him in a sense. So this was a very, very special piece. And like I said, a pretty heavy moment for the event altogether. Luckily, it was just between me and this dude. I don't think that a lot of people caught it and saw what was going on. So yeah, a heavy moment, but a very special moment. And it comes along with a very, very special piece. So this is super, super cool. Very happy to add that to my collection. Next up from Mr. Paul Vick, aka Perfect Ugly. We've got a sad clown squad clown mask here, and these probably look pretty familiar to you if you are in cahoots with Paul Vick or Will over at Wisconsin Mask Collector, or maybe if you are a juggalo, because these have recently been seen, at least a variant of these, on stage with ICP. This is just some sad clown squad love, a very cool piece to add to my collection, and definitely something different to add to my collection. So, shout out to Paul and Will. Uh, for always being the homies and hooking it up. Whoop whoop. Next up, this is a piece that I actually picked off of Pale Face and Co's booth. It was something that I was looking at at incarceration, but I didn't want to take it away from someone else that might want it. And then I realized that there were actually multiple copies of this, so I could have gotten one during incarceration and just chose not to. Now, I did try to buy this, but you know how it goes. Bishop did not want to charge me for it, told me just to take it. This very, very cool silver and gold Joey mask. Now, obviously, this is a custom piece, and I don't know why I'm so drawn to it. He had lots of custom Joeys hanging on that booth, but for some reason, I just kept looking at this one over and over and over during both of those weekends, the incarceration weekend and the House of Masks weekend. With that being said, I think I like it because it reminds me of Christmas. 
silver and gold, silver bells, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, I really, really like this and uh, stoked to have it in my collection. It's just a really, really cool piece and obviously means a little bit more now due to Joey's passing. So thank you very much, Bishop. I greatly, greatly appreciate this one and all of the other gifts in which you gave me during this weekend, which will have to be featured in another video because they're kind of a big deal and not just to me, but to the community. I'm sure you know what I'm saying. Do you know what I'm saying? All right, next up, I don't even know what's in this bag. I was handed the bag and uh, they told me to wait till the video of what I was doing right now because I said, yeah, I'm gonna do all these gifts in a video. So I see what appears to be a mud vein sticker. Very cool, very comic book-esque. Very, very cool. I see a patch, oh, it's Billy Strings. Look at that, little Billy Strings. And then I see a mask. Is the mask the final thing? It is. So, I don't have a name for this one, and I do apologize. However, we've got a cool little piece here. Looking like a little toxic shock monster type of thing here. Obviously, it's not the toxic shock monster, but it looks like that weird old rat fink, rat rod style. So, very, very cool. Very nice. Like that. Next up, again, I do not have a name on this one, but we've got a signed Corey Taylor piece. Hell yeah. Something nice to get framed up and accent the mask room. Very, very cool. Next up, we've got a piece, and this was the first piece that I was gifted, actually, and this comes from a patron, Mr. Adam Small, who got me this very cool custom little bucket head paint up. This is done by James Horner in 2021, and I think Adam said he picked this up at a convention, or maybe it came along with a painting order that he got from this guy. It was one of those two. He either picked this up at the booth, or it was included in an order that he got earlier from that guy anyways. But yeah, it's super, super rad, and it's almost holographic. Very, very cool, and it will have a happy home in Buckethead land. So, thank you very much, Adam. Not only for the gift, but for the patronage and support as well. I hope that you enjoyed your time at the House of Masks, and judging by your post, it appears that you did. All right, moving right along, we have a very interesting piece here, because, as you can see, we've got a Jason Hawk. Now, as this was handed to me, clearly, I saw the teeth on the mask, and I said, sweet. I love teeth, and the dude said, those are my real teeth, which makes this one of the most brutal pieces that I've received in a while. As you guys know, I absolutely love teeth. If you couldn't tell by the giant jar of human teeth on my desk that for some reason people really get confused with marijuana, which doesn't make any sense because at the end of my videos I say, say no to drugs and alcohol. Why would I have a giant jar of weed sitting on my desk? I don't know. But anyways, yes, this is very, very cool. Again, I don't have a name for this one. I do apologize. I wish that I would have had like a sticky note thing on the side of my desk. That way every time someone handed me a gift, I could have them write down their name or their Instagram handle or their YouTube account. That way I could credit them next time, I promise, and I do apologize for that. However, a very brutal gift. We've got this weird teeth Jason Hawk. Very cool, very cool. Next up, from Buffalo, and I remember this one because they contacted me on Instagram a while prior and said, hey, we're coming from Buffalo, New York. Is there anything that you would like? Some sort of alcohol? Nope. Do you like blue cheese? Nope. But they finally settled on donuts, and I'm gonna try one of these donuts right now. This is from Paula's Donuts, and the package is still sealed, so I'm sure that I'm probably safe. Holy shit, these guys look crazy. Look at that. Very, very interesting. What should I try? These look like Mountain Tops, which is a Krispy Kreme favorite, so we'll give these guys a shot right here. What a mess. Look at that just oozing with excitement. Kind of like your mom whenever you play one of my videos in front of her. All right, here we go. You know, it tastes like an in-between of real Krispy Kreme and fake Krispy Kreme. That's interesting. I'm gonna have to let my friends try that as well and see uh, what our conclusion is, but one bite's definitely not enough to judge the entire donut. But I will say, not the worst donut I've ever had. So thank you, Buffalo couple, whose names I did not get as well. Let's move on to one that I do know the name of. All right, let's see. This was a very, very special gift. We had a very, very special young man by the name of Frankie who absolutely stole the show that night. He was everybody's favorite. He just had so much charisma, and I'm pretty sure that he left with at least six girls' numbers this night because 
He spoke French and kissed them on the hand. Now, Frankie was probably my biggest fan in attendance. He not only showed up early and hung out with me a little bit earlier in the day before the event ever even started, but he came back to the event, caught me outside, and actually gifted me this, which he said that he has had since before Paul passed away. Here's the craziest thing about Frankie and his story. Frankie and his parents drove from 14 hours away to come to this event, which is absolutely insane. That is the second longest trip to get here out of all the people that came. We had one person come from 16 hours away, but Frankie and his family came from 14 hours away. Minnesota, which is absolutely insane, and he really wanted me to have this hat, which I did not want to take from him because it seemed like a very special piece. So to make up for that, we made sure that Frankie got the really, really special prize of the night. He got a hand-painted Iowa clown from my dad, a sticker pack, a free shirt, the list goes on and on, and I really, really hope that he's happy, and this is definitely a piece that I will take care of and cherish in my collection. So, Frankie, Thank you. Thank you very, very much. All right, how's about another one from someone whose name I remember? Let's do this before I keep forgetting because it's on the other side of the pile of stuff. What we have here is another piece from Mr. Mike Covert. We have got a number five 133 Craig Jones self-titled suit, and not only a 133 Craig Jones self-titled suit, but the stage used of the sick Craig Jones stage used suit. And I think that the goal here is to do a life-size build. It seems like that's what Covert wants me to do with this suit, and clearly, I have to respect his wishes. So, maybe in the future, you guys will see a self-titled Craig life-sized build. Again, another huge thank you to Covert. He has given me multiple suits over the years, and this one was actually given to me before the event, so I was able to get it hung up, and it just looked like a piece of the Slipknot Museum in here, and that is pretty cool. It definitely filled out a little missing link in my wall, which I definitely appreciate, but I think that a Craig life-size build is going to be nuts and we'll just have to see what the future holds. So again, thank you very much, Covert. I love you, man. And I don't know how to end this one, so let's go to the next piece. This one might have been one of the first gifts as well. It is a natural energy drink called Pussy. Now, is this pussy juice? If you drink this, are you a pussy? I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to mean, but we've got it here, and it's a can of pussy, I guess. So we'll set that one to the side as well. We've got some local support here from my favorite little bakery, High Five Cakes, friend and family owned, and they've just given me a nice big box of treats here. We've got all kinds of stuff. Cream pies, some sort of Oreo dessert, whatever this is, a giant fucking brownie. You really can't go wrong with High Five, so a massive thank you to Shauna and Sarah. Thank you guys very, very much. I always appreciate a nice High Five Cakes box. All right, we are winding down. I don't remember who brought me this one either, and I do apologize, but it is a very, very cool piece and something that I've never actually seen in person. What we have here is a Tito, Iowa, Corey, and it's actually a lot better in person than I expected it to be. Not that I was expecting this at all, because I literally had no idea that they were going to be bringing this to me, but they did. And I will say that Tito's pictures don't really do these things justice. They are a little flat in comparison to most Iowa Corys. However, this is a very, very nice uh, Iowa Cory replica. Something that I could see myself sticking in my collection. So, this might just end up becoming a Pledge of Allegiance bloody version. Depends on if I get around to doing that myself before I just end up buying one off of someone that already has one finished. So, if this was you, let me know down in the comments so I can say thank you again over the internet, not just in person, but I appreciate it. All right, okay, I think we're gonna go with uh, this saw pig mask. And this saw pig mask is actually going to segue us into the next piece, which might just be the craziest piece of the event. This saw pig mask was taken out of a package and handed to me by a little company called Born to Scare Productions. Two fellas, one of which I have met before up at Foy's in Fairborn, and another fella by the name of Chase. They handed me this mask, let me know all about it, which is very, very cool, but they had another mask in the bag. They're standing in front of me and they said, hey, we weren't even going to come to this event. However, we were Halloween hunting earlier and found this at a Goodwill. Well, this ended up being a vintage West German clown. Now, initially, they were just showing me this mask, but I was freaking out. And I said, hey, you want to sell that? And the kid was like, and I was like, you should probably sell me that. And he was like, uh, I don't know, man. And I was like, what number would make you know, man? And I spit out an offer. His friend was like, hey, you should just sell it to him. The kid was like, you know what? I'll take less than that for some reason. So I gave him the amount that he wanted 
and now I have a new vintage clown in my collection, still with the Goodwill tag on it. $5.99 they found this thing. What in the actual fuck? Absolutely insane. Definitely stoked to have this, and I think that this is tied for my favorite piece, along with one of the other pieces that you have yet to see, which I will probably save for last, because I think we only have, I don't know, two, three more things to show you. But yeah, got a vintage clown at my open house. That's how you know everything was meant to be. What? 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 Doesn't even make sense. So obviously it goes without saying. Thank you very, very much, Chase. I greatly appreciate you. All right, yet another friendly friend piece. We've got a piece here from the best looking guy in the hobby, Mr. Ranger Teach who has brought me a Stone Cold Steve Austin vintage vinyl Caesar mask for the display. If you guys recall, I have been looking for some sort of Stone Cold Steve Austin mask to display on top of my weird torso bust thing that has like a Stone Cold t-shirt and a Stone Cold vest on it. And this is like the perfect mask for that. I don't know what it is about this piece, but it's just like the best likeness of Stone Cold ever. And we put it on there when Ranger was here and it just works so perfect. And I'll show it to you at some point in some sort of video probably not this one because I'm just already blabbering and it's taking way 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 too long to make this video but shout out to Ranger thank you very very much I absolutely love this piece and uh, yeah it's pretty sick up there so two more items we've got the next to last one which I have been saving because I have not looked it is inside of a giant box all I know is that the fellow that gave me this told me to go lightly on him to be gentle go easy so let's see what we've got that is interesting oh my god what the hell the whole thing is like 3d printed what the fuck oh it's like iron man i think what the fuck dude okay this is super super strange what we've got is a giant 3d printed raw iron man i don't think that that's painted i think that that's just the way that the plastic is um i don't really know what to make of this because this isn't my area of expertise hell this might not even be iron man but it definitely looks like iron man he said it had something to do with saw so now i'm really really confused however i guess you can totally wear this thing right put some foam in there i guess yeah i'm not sure what to say about that one took my whole hat off too I mean, it's definitely interesting. I just, uh, I can't make any sort of critiques or whatever. But yeah, maybe you can hit me up and we can talk about this thing a little bit because I am definitely curious at this point. Regardless, it looks like it took some effort to construct. So thank you very, very much. And I'm looking forward to figuring out exactly what is going on with this. All right, we are down to the final piece, which is definitely my favorite piece of the weekend. I don't really know why this happened, but as soon as I saw this thing get pulled out, that's what she said. It just melted my heart a little bit. So Devin England just pops this thing out. And a lot of you guys are probably like, what the fuck is that? Just looks like some shitty clay sculpture. And it is, but it's supposed to be. What we have here is the Pennington Lark. What is the Pennington Lark? The Pennington Lark is a Dave Brocky song about the Pennington Lark. You guys should definitely go check it out. It's super, super fucking catchy and just a really good song. Very, very strange, very obscure, with an equally obscure fan-made music video. It's not even really the official music video, but it's what I remember seeing on MySpace and stuff back in like 2006. The Pennington Lark walks in the park If life was a crap, he would be the spark The Pennington Lark, he's worse than his bark If life is a pain, he's the other mark So yeah, the Pennington Lark. Now why is this piece so special? Well, I've never even thought about having a replica of this made, but here we have one, because my fans know me better than I know myself sometimes. This is just such a weird, obscure, unique thing to think to make for me, and you have to really, really know me to think, hey, I'm gonna make AJ a Pennington Lark. So this was definitely one of the coolest pieces that I got all weekend, and I would have to say that this is tied with the West German Clown just in terms of like overall wowness. Definitely one of the most special things that I have in my collection right now. So a huge, huge shout out to Mr. Devin because uh, this thing is just super, super fucking rad. I absolutely love this piece, and it will definitely have a happy home here at the House of Masks. All right, so with all of that being said, that is what I got from the event. I would like to thank every single person that came 
came out, but I would like to give a very special thanks to anybody who had something featured in this video. You guys are fucking amazing, and I definitely, definitely appreciate it. More than you could ever even imagine, to be honest. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite piece from this haul was. And with all of that being said, I've got to get on with these other videos because there are just a ton of videos that spurred from this event that I need to get up for you guys before it gets too late. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one now. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. And until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to gifts. And we'll see you guys later.